Hello all, this is D Swank, and I'm looking at a game that I've covered off and on uh, for a while since the beginning of my channel, uh, Payday 2. And why this is a, a fairly good update, in my opinion, um, they have reworked the skill tree, things have moved around, uh, things like the Messiah, used to be Pistol Messiah, used to be in the Mastermind tree, and, but now it's been nerfed and buffed a little bit. Used to be you only could use pistols to get it to activate. Now you can use anything. And it only has one charge of it, but you get the charge back when you use a doctor's bag. It used to be the, the only way you could recover your pistol messiah downs was to get captured and then come back. Um, which, yeah, that's not always a good thing, or a functional thing. So, I think it's a good balance. Uh, they have rebalanced some other things, and overall, there's a few things I'm not too keen on. I did like Inspire, because it was a good overall skill, um, but they nerfed it to some extent, and buffed it. It used to be a chance and you just spam the use key on your downed enemy or downed ally to resurrect them. Now it's a hundred percent chance but you can only use it every 20 seconds. Previously you could hide in the corner and let your AI idiots just oh no I'm down up down up down up down up down and you could single play through all that. So we've got that update. And in the, uh, uh, we got that, um, the way some of the bonuses for guns work are real nice. Um, my first weapon that I've ended up with a, uh, boost I got right here, which is nice. And then... Um, they gave everybody the HEF grenade, uh, as a free B, uh, with the 100th, uh, patch. Uh, they also were talking about how, and I'm not 100% sure, I've read everything, but I'm still not 100% sure on who the other party was, but apparently Overkill didn't completely own the Payday franchise, and now they do. And because of that, things are changing. They're cl uh, they say it's for the better. I'm a little confused if they're, this is, how much of this is exactly what's at face value, how much of it is uh, cover themselves. Um, st safes are still going to be market-based until the end of this month. Um, I think it's the 25th. They're changing them over to where they are free to open. They're going, these are, they're going to have a legacy safe system for a series, a period of time, and then they're going to have the new safes. And the new safes, from everything I have read, are going to be free to open. So, that seems like a good thing. It seems like the community has finally got what they were looking for. No microtransactions, things like that. Um, and the way everything in the press release felt was that the uh, update was going to be... Um, well, here we go. Let's take a look at this. See if it loads for me. 100 update. Uh, let's turn the music off. Um, so we've got a video celebrating, uh, free grenades. Everybody gets them. Uh, new graphics options. I forgot about mentioning that. Um, so we've got different 
visual mappings and things. Um, we've got new skill trees, or the way the new skill trees function. Uh, that was part of a community get together and make the balance. Change the black market. Black market free. Safes are now divided into two categories. Old generation and new generation safes. Any old generation safe is a safe that was released up until this point. Any new generation safe is a safe released from this point onward. Old generation safes and drills have now stopped to stop to drop in the loot drop. I'm assuming that means that they no longer drop in the card drops. Starting January, I mean June, bleh, sorry, June 24th, the first new generation safe will start to drop in the loot drop. When you get one, you open it for free, no drills required. It's important to mention that no items have been or will be removed from anyone. If you have an old generation safe, you can still purchase a drill if you want to open it, just like before. Okay. Um, going on right now, I believe, is this AMA. Um, so I haven't taken a look at that. Uh, update to change, uh, change log... Uh, blah 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 um, some fixes to the level some overall balancing stuff art uh, weapons things like that so for the most part this is a very good sign if you're a fan of how the game was originally uh, there's a few things that I personally feel there's no good late game I what you grind and grind and then there's not there's no reason like uh, my uh, the people I play with um, no I don't uh, infamy there we go we have this the whole infamy box and I could get these four XP bonuses and then unlock these. But ultimately, there's no reason to get those um, unlocks. This one, the, the, the outer rim unlocks that don't give masks. And the masks are really only there for the people that are completionists. So... There's a lot of people that say this needs to be looked at. So, eh. And I had hoped that this was going to be something they were going to look at. Who knows, this was Infamy 2.0. They may do Infamy 3.0 and fix this. Uh, the problem is, how do you uh, balance the... Uh, infamy stuff. I mean, probably the best one would be um, now that they've reworked the um, skills. Doing a branch where instead of doing you have the first series that just unlocks stuff for Mastermind, Enforcer, Technician, Ghost, Fugitive, makes them cost less to spend points in. Then do a series below those that's like Medic, reduces the cost of Medic, or gives me um, like the basic combat Medic for free. So the basic skill point in each of these for free. I mean, that'll, that doesn't really do much, but it opens everything up. That's just an idea. I'm not a game designer. I just play games, and I don't think that that would be too unbalanced. Because, ultimately, if you did that, you'd have to infamy for 25 times to have access to all of it. And it would give you three, 15 extra points nothing is 
in here is that good that 15 extra points, I mean, you could probably make a build specifically to make use of an extra 15 points, but eh. So I think, in my opinion, I think that would be pretty good. Um, but I'm just a YouTuber and don't really know much. But anyway, that was just a brief look at what has come out for Payday 2. Um, nothing much, uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, hit like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I will see you next time. Until then, bye bye